I recently found out something weird about jellyfish. If you have one jellyfish and you cut it in half, instead of having no jellyfish because it's dead, now you have two. Jellyfish regenerate. If it wasn't so terrifying, it would be amazing. But now I have nightmares about jellyfish rising up and taking over the world because they are literally the undead. Paranoia aside, it does speak to me about unintended consequences. Life can be like trying to kill a jellyfish, metaphorically, stick with me. We try to overcome obstacles. And in that process, we create other obstacles that wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for the action that we just took. For example, we recently had the joy of moving our two-year-old from a cot into a big girl bed. She was having trouble going to sleep at night and we thought this move would be just the thing that would help us. No longer will she be trapped when she has a sleep. She can get in and out as she pleases. And like when she drops her stuffed animals on the floor, she could then hop out to get them and then get back into bed instead of calling out for us. That whole process is frustrating. And she loved it and she was ready for it. Sleep time should have become easier. But instead, not only did she still struggle to sleep some nights, then at any time she wanted, she could get out of bed and annoy her brother in the next room. The only time that she seems to be happy to stay in her bed is when she drops her stuffed animals on the floor and instead of just hopping out to get them and then getting back in, she still calls out to us until someone comes and does it for her. Unintended consequences. In our world, unintended consequences are everywhere. I buy coffee in Perth. It impacts the local cafe, their staff and families, the dairy farmers who provide the milk, the truck drivers who ship the milk, the distributors of said milk, as well as the whole coffee bean production line from, line from grower right through to roasters, wherever they may be in the world. A lot of things need to happen for me to have my morning pick me up. And if things work well, then everybody is impacted positively. And if they don't work well, people get pushed aside. But generosity also has unintended consequences, both bad and good. Sometimes by doing something that you think is the best thing in that moment may do some good, but also creates another problem slash jellyfish. It doesn't mean that, the, that we stop being generous. Instead, we grow in wisdom as we give so that we can learn to create the best possible outcomes with the least amount of jellyfish. It takes time and experience and humility to acknowledge we don't know everything yet.